Thank you for the invitation. So I'm uh, Alex Granfort. I'm a researcher at INRIA, and I've been a core contributor of uh, Cycleton for many years, actually seven years since it started uh, in 2010. So last year, uh, I asked uh, Paul to support us to uh, uh, fund uh, some of the developments of Scikit-Learn, and this is what he did. So just to say you a few words, it was a one-week event that was uh, actually happening at Criteo. So just a couple of words on what is Scikit-Learn. Scikit-Learn is a rather famous machine learning toolkit for uh, um, predictive analytics, uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, mostly written in Python and used in Python. And uh, just going to give you a few uh, words on, on, on scikit-learn. The uh, code base is now rather large, and more than 1,000 people have contributed to it. Uh, it's been estimated at more than 30 years of work for one person. And uh, actually, we've got a, the second most popular project on GitHub after uh, TensorFlow now these days. In terms of funding, so scikit-learn is mostly funded in terms of people by academic institutions. First of all, the INRIA, uh, where I work now, Telecom Paris Tech in France, and um, also abroad, uh, mostly now these days in Sydney. There's uh, one of our more active contributors who is there, and then there's the Moore Sloan Foundation, who founded uh, Andy Muller at NYU and now moved to Columbia. So these are the uh, centers uh, that are funding the actual people being paid full time to work on scikit-learn. And then we have also some uh, support from uh, private money, uh, companies that give us a bit of money to organize some events and to, to pay for short-term uh, contracts like uh, Google, Criteo uh, during the sprints, and Francis AI, uh, which funded the sprint uh, of last year. So the impact of second Learn is now quite massive. So this is just the, the companies that have accepted to testify that they're actually using in their business Scikit Learn. Scikit Learn has, come, has a BSD license, which means that they can, can be used for commercial uh, uh, purposes. And that was actually a big factor of the success of, of the project uh, over the years. In terms of numbers, uh, now people ask this for uh, uh, hiring people. That's a mandatory skill. And if you look at the web stats, we have uh, about 400,000 re uh, returning users on the Scikit-Learn website. So we evaluate that almost half a million people are using Scikit-Learn uh, on a regular basis, at least for a, a, a period of their, of their time. If I give uh, now a bit of uh, context for this uh, uh, short talk, um, so this was just the name of the people that uh, uh, like register for the sprint last uh, last June. This is on the rooftop of the Criteo building, which uh, hosted the sprints. And um, some of these people were actually funded by Francis AI. So Andy Miller and Vlad Nicolet were both in the US, and they came for the full week of the of the sprint. So you log people in one room from 9 to 6 p.m., and you ask them to code as much as they can and to enjoy this for an entire week and free the schedule. If you look at terms of achievement, I could list all the merge PRs or pull requests of the week, but basically the, the big impact of this sprint, and I mean, it's also a longer event, uh, is the uh, release that was done uh, in August uh, this summer. So this is just a, 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 snap, a snapshot I took from the release page where you list all the achievements, the new estimators, the new models that are being uh, uh, shipped with this release. And if I want to summarize basically what's the vision and still the vision of scikit-learn these days is to bring state-of-the-art algorithms and machine learning to the masses and to uh, reach as many people as possible. People start using scikit-learn, they see that it's, uh, they can achieve things in a, in a in bigger context and, and then that contributes to de democratizing what is AI and machine learning these days. The project of scikit-learn is a rather mature project, more than seven years uh, of uh, actual work since it started at INRIA. Uh, and I think there's a lot of effort that are still undone on, on speed, usability, and also scaling some of the estimators with online methods. So I invite you to go to this web page where you see the release notes and you can see all the details that I, I cannot list in five minutes. And uh, I guess I would like you to thank uh, everyone and uh, thanks for Francis AI for supporting us. Thank you very much.